University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Phase two of our double elimination quarterfinal stage concludes tonight. Last time we saw Bristol University join Royal Holloway London in qualifying for the semis. Tonight we return to the losers bracket. Both teams playing this evening lost their first quarterfinal match and whoever loses again tonight will be eliminated from the competition. The team from Newnham College, Cambridge began their contest with a narrow defeat at the hands of the Courtauld Institute of Art. Their losing score, however, was among the highest of the first round and earned them a repechage match against the University of Sheffield, which they won comfortably. They then beat Cardiff in round two to set up a first quarter final against Bristol in which they eased their opponent's path to victory by incurring five five-point penalties on starter questions. Across all four matches, their average score is 150 and their average age is 22. Let's meet them for the fifth time. Hello, my name is Bethan Holloway Strong. I'm from Surrey and Australia, and I'm studying English. Hello, I'm Hannah Bowen. I'm from Gateshead, and I'm studying German, Russian, and Polish. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Roma Ellis. I'm from Nottingham, and I'm studying philosophy. Hi, my name is Chen Ji. I'm from Suzhou in China, and I study history of science. <laughs> well, the team from Jesus College, Cambridge, squatted aside a pair of Oxford colleges to reach the quarterfinals with St. Catherine's College and University College barely managing half Jesus' score each time. Against UCL, however, they never really managed to get out of first gear. They fared well on the buzzer, but bonus sets on anatomy, 14th century history and picnics in fine art yielded little fruit. With an average score so far of 165 and an average age also of 22, let's meet the Jesus team again. Hi, I'm Josh Kay. I'm from Northwest London and I'm studying maths. Hi, I'm Juliette Tyndall. I'm from Birmingham and I'm studying Spanish and Portuguese. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Hamish McGregor. I'm from Cambridge and I'm studying for a PhD in cancer genetic epidemiology. Hi, I'm Samir Agarwal. I'm from London and I'm studying engineering. Well, you all know the rules by now, so fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. What surname links all of these? An English navigator who served the first Tokugawa shogun, an early US first lady and prominent woman of letters, the composer of The Death of Klinghoffer, and the authors of The Plague Dogs and So Long and Thanks for All the Fish. Nuna Mellis. Adams. Adams is correct. <laughs> right, you get three bonuses on a European city. Which European city is the title of a 1998 play by Michael Frayn concerning a meeting between Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg to discuss uh, the German atomic bomb programme? Oh, it's probably Copenhagen. Copenhagen. I think it is. Yeah. It is Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Copenhagen is correct. In a phrase also associated with Richard Feynman, the US physicist David Mermin described the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics as shut up and do what? Do you do math? Yeah, maths. No, it's calculated. Oh. <laughs> Born in 1879, which physicist responded to the Copenhagen interpretation with the words, at all events, I am convinced he, meaning God, does not play dice? Einstein. Einstein. Well done. <laughs> Ten points for this. The Jatia Sangsgad or House of the Nation, is the parliament of which Asian country where President Abdul Hamid was elected for a second term in 2018? Independent since 1971. Jesus Agarwal. Bangladesh. Bangladesh is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses now on a novelist and scholar. Noted both for crime fiction and her verse translations of Dante, which author wrote advertisements for Coleman's mustard and Guinness in the 1920s? to establish her financial independence? I don't know. Any ideas? The author's from the 1920s. Wolf? Yeah, could be. Yeah. Virginia Woolf? No, she was much more serious. Dorothy L. Sayers. Sayers described her amateur detective, Lord Peter Wimsey, as a cross between Bertie Wooster and which Hollywood actor born Frederick Austerlitz in Nebraska in 1899? It's not like Humphrey Bogart or something. Could be, yeah. yeah. Could be, or Fred Astaire, possibly. Okay. I don't know. Is that, is that right? What do you think? I'm not sure. You, yeah. You, um, Fred Astaire. It was Fred Astaire. Oh, and finally, featuring Harriet Vane, 
Sayers' 1935 novel, Gordy Dite, is set in which fictional Oxford College? It shares its name with the town on the River Severn, the birthplace of Charles Darwin. On the Severn? The fiction... Mm. It's not Porterhouse, is it? No, that's not a real place, is it? Is it Gloucester, or possibly? Is that on the Severn? It's not right by the country, isn't it? Gloucester? Gloucester College. No, it's Shrewsbury College. We're going to take another starter question now. The US states with the capitals Jackson and Harrisburg give their names to the principal subdivisions of which geological period, ending around 300 million years ago, it's associated with... Unamellus. Carboniferous. Carboniferous is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on a faunal boundary line, marking the boundary between Siberian and Japanese ecological regions, the Blakiston Line, is a formal boundary that runs between which two Japanese islands? Um, it should be Hokkaido and the other one, but I don't know what's beneath Hokkaido. Honshu? Yeah, it's Honshu. Yeah. Hokkaido and Honshu. Yeah. Hokkaido and Honshu? Correct. Illustrating the division between the islands, the species Ursos arctos and Ursos tibetanus are native to Hokkaido and Honshu, respectively. What is the common name for the family of mammals to which these species belong? The bears. Surely it bears. Like yeah. Bears. Yeah. bears. Bears? Bears is correct. The Blakiston line marks the northern limit of the Japanese species of which genus of primates, making it the northernmost monkey species in the world? Macaques? Possibly? Yeah, no. Uh, are they the ones... Oh, that isn't it more the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try that. The, maca Ma the Japanese macaques? Macaque is correct, okay. yes, well done. We're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you're going to see the flag of a supranational organisation. For ten points, please name it. Munam Chan. International Association of, Avi of Aviation. No, it's not. Jesus K. IATA. No, it's the Nordic Council, so we'll take the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points for this. In one of the earliest recorded events in Athenian history, which Greek statesman and former Olympic champion attempted a coup in 632 BC with backing from the rival city of Megara. He shares his name with the race of robotic beings featured in the Battlestar Galactica franchise. Unimelis. Cylon. Cylon is correct. <laughs> well, we just saw the flag of the Nordic Council, which promotes cooperation between countries in the Scandinavian region. For your picture bonuses, you will see flags of three minor members of the Council. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, this autonomous region. This is the Anand Islands, I think. I'm not sure. OK. Does that sound good? Uh, nominate Chen. Anand Islands. The Anand Islands is correct. Secondly, this is the flag of which peoples who have observer status on the council? That's Sami. Sami, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sami? Sami is correct. And finally... That's uh, Greenland. That's oh. Greenland. Greenland. That is Greenland. Well done. Ten points for this. <laughs> Warrington Rylands, South Shields, North Shields and Thatcham Town are among recent winners of which knockout cup contested by clubs in tiers 9 to 11 of the English football pyramid? Jesus Engelwall. The FA Trophy. No, anyone want to buzz from Newnham? Newnham Ellis. Minor Leagues Championship. No, it's the FA Vars. The trophy is for tiers 5 to 8 clubs. Ten points for this. Similar to pasteurisation, what thermal process is used to inactivate enzymes in solid foodstuffs to preserve the food? The same term is used in cooking for the process of scalding by brief exposure to boiling water. Munamellis. Blanching. Blanching is correct. You're doing well. <laughs> you get three bonuses on the British-born astronomer Cecilia Payne Gaposchkin. Entitled Stellar Atmospheres. Payne Gaposchkin's 1925 PhD thesis showed that stars were mainly composed of which two elements? Hydrogen and helium. Correct. Payne Gaposchkin also linked spectral classes of stars to ionization states of which element with electronic configuration neon 3S23P2? OK, so. Could it be. 3S. Yes. I don't know. Iron. Iron. Oh, no, I think it might be iron because they make iron. I don't iron? Know. No, it's silicon. Oh, yeah, no. Sorry. Which of Payne Gaposchkin's doctoral students gives his name to an equation estimating the number of possible extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way? 
I've oh, heard goodness. of this, but I, I have heard I of this. I have heard of it. It's not. I'm, I'm thinking letter G, but I've, I've, I wasn't sure I heard the. It's, so it's possible, estimating like, the amount of extraterrestrial. Yeah. So it's like sometimes something, sometimes something. It's like, Does anyone have a name? I think his yeah. surname begins with G, but I don't know. Gordon. <laughs> Gordon. No, it isn't. It's Drake. Oh. Ten points for this. From the Greek for container and shape. What term is used in archaeology for a non-functional survival and shape or decoration that implies derivation from an earlier form? In modern design, the same term describes, for example, electric light bulbs in the shape of candle flames. Ah. Jesus Agarwal. Skeomorphic. Correct. <laughs> for your bonuses, I want you to name the following figures from descriptions in the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. All three were born before 1730. His thought combines a commitment to a number of Cartesian principles with elements of ancient Stoicism and medieval Jewish rationalism into a highly original system. <laughs> Spinoza, maybe? I don't know. Sure. I don't know if that was the right time, but... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spinoza. Spinoza is correct. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most important philosophers to write in English, a thoroughgoing exponent of philosophical naturalism. Should be him. Yeah. Or he is it early enough for him. I don't know. Who's the other English one? Oh. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> the other what, sorry? The English one, that early. Um, I know. Uh, one. Mill. Or... A lock? I, I, I think go Hume. Hume. It is Hume, oh. David Hume. And finally... The central figure in modern philosophy, he synthesised early modern rationalism and empiricism. His fundamental idea is human autonomy. It's not Kant? Kant? Yeah. Possibly rationalism, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, let's go with Kant. Kant. Kant is correct. <laughs> Ten points state now. In 1946, the US military moved the population of what island location in order to carry out Operation Crossroads? Nina Mellis. Bikini Atoll. Bikini at all is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on pairs of words that differ only by the substitution of the initial letter A for an E, as in ago and ego. In each case, give both words from the definitions. Firstly, two common British trees. One is a catkin-bearing tree of the birch family. The other, of the genus Sambuca, bears white flowers and dark edible berries. Old, oh, yeah. Older and elder. Older and elder is correct. Secondly, the genus of plants that includes the Michaelmas daisy and a class of organic compound often responsible for the fragrance of flowers and fruits. Aster and Esther. Esther. Yes, yes, Esther. Aster and Esther. Correct. And finally, a word of French origin meaning jargon or slang and a fungal disease of rye that can cause food poisoning. Argo and Ergo. Argo and Ergo. Yes, it's Argo and Ergo. <laughs> We're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you're going to hear an excerpt from a musical. For ten points, please give me the musical's title. Her ups, her downs are second nature to me now. Like breathing out and breathing in. I was serenely independent and content before we met. Surely I could always be that way again. And yet... Nina Mellis. My Fair Lady. It is My Fair Lady. Well done. <laughs> well, you just heard Rex Harrison performing I've Grown Accustomed to Her Face from the original recording of Lerner and Lowe's My Fair Lady, which won three platinum awards. For your music bonuses, songs from three more musicals, which also won platinum awards. Five points for each musical you can name. First... Is this... Oh, no. I think it might be too early for Bandstand. I'm going to try that. Any friend that's yeah. kind of... Oh, it might be. I'm not as good on older music. Is it not no. anything? I, just, I don't think this is... I don't know. Could, could it be the Music Man? You don't know. Music, music Man? It is the Music Man, yes. Oh. Well done. <laughs> Secondly... Is there a oh, this is um, Fiddler on the Roof. This is Sunrise Fiddler Sunset. On the roof. Fiddler on the Roof, you're right. It is Sunrise Sunset. And finally... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna... One singular sensation. Uh, chorus line, is this? Yes, yeah. chorus line. 
chorus line is correct. Well done. It's fun watching you get those. <laughs> Ten points for this. The term stare decisis refers to the principle that underpins what legal convention in which a court judgment is used as a basis for similar decisions in subsequent cases. Newman Bowen. Legal precedence. Precedent is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three questions on the film director, Mia Hansen Love. Hansen Love's 2014 film Eden contrasts the struggling career of a fictional French DJ with the rising fame of which real life electronic duo? Oh, Daft, Daft Punk, Punk and the electronic it's French, I suppose. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. Do we think? Yeah. Daft Punk. Daft Punk is correct. Who plays the lead role of the philosophy teacher Natalie in the 2016 film Things to Come? Her other films include Michael Haneke's The Piano Teacher and Paul Verhoeven's L. Um, I don't know the name of the actress and um, the piano teacher, so, um, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, know. Sorry, okay. no. Uh, Anything who, anyone who looks like her? No, uh, yeah. Eva Green. No, it's Isabel Huppert. Oh. The title of Hanson Love's 2021 film Bergman Island refers to Fora, a small island just north of which larger Swedish island? I, I, I What's that one? I forget Swedish the name island. of that's Ugh. next to Sweden in between Sweden and Finland. Yeah, it's an island, yeah. and I never remember its name. Oh I, no, I'm actually gonna. Yeah, I'll know it when I hear it. I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah. It's not like Gotland or something. It's, it's it is Gotland. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ten points for this. I need a given name and a surname here. Kila is an immortal cell line used. Jesus Tyndall. Henrietta Lacks. Henrietta Lacks is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on popes. In each case, identify the pope from a description of his pre papal career. I need the papal name and number in each case. Firstly, Professor of Theology at the University of Regensburg, then Archbishop of Munich and Freising, then Prefect of the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith. John Paul II, is it? John Paul II. That's Benedict XVI. Secondly, Papal Nuncio to Weimar, Germany, later Vatican Secretary of State. In this capacity, he helped draft an encyclical criticising the Nazis. Oh, God. Is that is Galen? It... No. Is it Paul VI or something? I've got, I've got no. literally no idea. Paul VI. Now, that was Pius XII. And finally, underground seminary student during the Second World War, then ethics professor, who later, as a bishop, vocally opposed communism. Is that John Paul II? John Paul II. That is John Paul II. Yeah. <laughs> Discovered in 1801, which Group 5 transition metal was initially known as Columbium? Used in superconductors and optical components, its modern name comes from the daughter of Tantalus in Greek mythology. Unimalis. Niobium. Niobium is correct. Well done. These bonuses are on space in 20th century art. Born in 1887, which US modernist painted Starlight Night, a watercolour in which she represents stars as irregular shapes against a blue watercolour background? Uh, any US watercolourists? I don't know any US artists. Really that have no, I don't have any watercolours. OK, pass. That was Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh. Which US painter and graphic artist was one of a number invited by NASA to attend the launch of Apollo 11? resulting in his stoned moon drawing, one of a series of lithographs inspired by the event. Ooh, a, a graphic artist. Sounds yeah, like Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. Know, Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein. Sort of Lichtenstein. It wasn't, it was Rauschenberger. Oh. Which pop artist created the colour screen print Moonwalk 1987, a reimagining of a photograph of Buzz Aldrin standing on the moon? This probably sounds... Warhol? Yeah, Warhol. Well, no, what were you going to say? I know, it sounds probably Warhol. What were you so going to say? I was going to say, it's, this sounds like Warhol. Oh, right, 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 OK. <laughs> Warhol. Warhol is okay. correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> St Cuthbert, the patron saint of the north of England, is buried in which Norman cathedral? Jesus Anchorwall. Lindisfarne. No, you lose five points. The seat of the fourth-ranked bishop in the Church of England. Unimalis. York. No. That's the second rank. Oh, yeah, no. It was Durham. Ten points for this. Derived respectively from an equilateral triangle and a square, the two fractals known as the gasket and the carpet are named after which <laughs> Polish mathematician? Jesus Hagel. Sierpinski. Sierpinski is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on Arctic exploration. 
The Arctic Sea to the north of the Kara Peninsula is named after which 16th century Dutch navigator? Who? Hey, is that my idea? Jan Mayen? Um, I'm not sure. Did, did go for I'll it. go for it. Um, Nominate you. Yeah. Jan Meyer? No, it's Willem Berents. Berents died in 1597 off the coast of which archipelago in northern Russia? Consisting of two large principal islands, its name means new land. I don't know any archipelago. Yeah, here again, I'm not sure. Kamchatka, an archipelago. It's not, not new land. Novosibirsk, is that? This, no, that's not Novosibirsk. Um, to say that. Novosibirsk. No, it's Novaya Zemlya. You are now sailed into the north of my lady's opinion, where you will hang like an icicle on a Dutchman's beard. Thought to allude to Berents, this line is delivered by Fabian to Sir Andrew Ragu cheek in which of Shakespeare's plays? Uh, Twelfth Night, I think. Twelfth Night. Twelfth Night is correct. Well done. <laughs> right, we're going to take another picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a photograph of a musical act. For ten points, please give me their name. Newnham Bowen. Sparks. That is correct, yes. That was the band Sparks. They were the subject of a 2021 documentary and a concert film directed by Edgar Wright. For your picture bonuses, you're going to see stills from three concert films by directors better known for their narrative films. In each case, I want the group that is the subject of the film. Firstly... Ooh, I'm not sure. Um, Any ideas? Oh, my God. I don't recognise anyone, so... What is that instrument? Oh, that's just a guitar. That's a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, do you have them? I don't. OK, Thank pass. You. That's the band, secondly... Oh, Big band. I got any ideas? Anything? I'm not sure. No, um, sorry. Anything? Just um, anything? No, I don't know. Go with Duke Ellington again. Yeah. Duke Ellington. <laughs> well, that is the Buena Vista Social Club. Oh, Finally. Oh, um, Talking Heads. Yeah. Talking Heads. It is Talking Heads. Yes. <laughs> Born in Dublin in 1782, John Field is often described as the originator of what form of musical composition? whose later exponents include Frédéric Chopin. Often written for solo piano, it evokes a period of time within a full day. Jesus McGregor. Nocturne. Nocturne is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on eponymous chemical reactions. Name each one from the description. Named after the French and US chemists who discovered it in 1877, which reaction uses a halogen carrier to substitute alkyl or acyl <laughs> groups into a benzene ring? Uh, uh, Friedel Crafts, maybe. Possibly, but some French American. I can't think of it. Friedel Crafts. Correct. Named after the Nobel laureates of 1950, which edition reaction forms six membered rings? It's not Grignard, is it? No. Grignard. No, it's a Deal's older reaction. No after a pair of Russian chemists, what two letters denote the oscillating reactions that form rings or spiral patterns in petri dishes? <sighs> I've seen it, I can't remember it. Pass. It's a BZ reaction. Ten points for this. An example of Shakespeare's infrequent use of a chorus, which play opens with the invocation of a muse of fire? Una Malice. Henry V. Henry V is correct. <laughs> Three questions on designers and architects for your bonuses, Newnham. In 1967, the designer and architect Sir Misha Black created the distinctive black and red on white design used for street signs in which London borough? Anyone know this? London. I, London I think borough. I've seen them, but I don't know which. I don't know London. London. So black, on, Southern, black and red on white. I mean, Westminster? Westminster. Maybe. Maybe. No, yeah. That's not borough, is it? Oh, it's not. Yeah. Oh, is it? I, I mean, it's City of Westminster. I can only name one borough. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say Southwark. No, it was Westminster. Oh, so I'm so oh, sorry. It's all right, just guess. In the 1960s, the government hired David Rogers and Meller to design a new type of post box. And what other ubiquitous item? It has been common on Britain's roads since the first versions were introduced in Parliament Square in 1868. What's that? So post box and because it's not telephone. Post box. Post Giles Gilbert Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Scott. Um, so oh goodness, what else is ubiquitous? Mm. Um, it's touristy yeah. stuff. Um, <laughs> I just keep seeing like highway markers, but they're not yeah, very. No, <laughs> you might just say telephone box, even though that's. Come on, right. say that. telephone box. No, it's the traffic light. Oh, oh okay. Born in eighteen eighty, which architect designed the traditional British red telephone box? I don't know. Giles Gilbert Scott. Very good. <laughs> Ten points for this. 
What is the common name of the triangular-shaped seeds of Fragopyrum esculentum? It is a staple grain in Eastern Europe, where it's often called kasha. And you know it. Buckwheat? Buckwheat is correct. <laughs> you get these bonuses on an engineering process. Submerged arc, resistance spot, solid state and laser beam are all forms of what engineering process relating to metalworking? Laser beam, uh, engraving, S solid state, oh, solid state, cutting, metalworking, welding, welding. soldering. Yeah, soldering. It's welding. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's all right. What I mean, two I quantities are plotted against each other in a graph to represent the ductility properties of a weld? The area under the curve is a measure of the toughness of the material. So, stress and strain or something. Yeah. I, 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 okay. I think, think it might be like stress per length or strain per length or something like strain. strain Come on, let's have length. it. Strain please. per length. No, it's stress and strain. Oh, I'm so sorry. Brazing is a form of welding that uses a filler metal with a melting point above 450 degrees. What similar process uses a filler metal that melts at lower temperatures? Maybe that's soldering. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think yeah. soldering. That is soldering. Okay. Yes, ten points for this. In physics, what letter is used to represent all of these? A type of Bessel function, current density. Juice is anchor wall. J. J is correct. <laughs> <laughs> These are on African capitals, your bonuses. Which city was founded by British abolitionists in 1792 as a place to settle formerly enslaved black people from London? It was the capital of British West Africa from 1808 to 1874. Liberia. Liberia. No, it's not. No, it's not Liberia. Liberia. No. Um, it West could Africa. Be, could be Lagos. Lagos. I think Lagos. Lagos. No, it's Freetown. Oh. Which present-day capital became a slave resettlement site for free slaves in 1849? It was later the main port for French Equatorial Africa. French Equatorial Africa. Um, that's not Monrovia. That's not Monrovia. Um, Come on. Dakar. Dakar. No, it's Libreville. Founded in 1822 and named after a US president, which city was intended Monrovia. to emulate Freetown as a home for freed slaves? Monrovia. Monrovia. Monrovia is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> I want you to answer as soon as your name is called. What is the sum of the infinite geometrical series with the first term 10 and the common ratio 2 thirds? Uh, Jesus Anchorwall. 30. 30 is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on books with days of the week in their titles. Which novel of 1908 by G.K. Chesterton follows the detective Gabriel Syme as he infiltrates the Central Anarchist Council and pursues the head Sunday throughout right. Europe? It's like The Man Who Was Thursday or something. The Man Who Was Thursday. Correct. The first in a series of novels by Alexander McCall Smith. Which 2004 novel first introduced... Isabel Dalhousie, the mystery-solving editor of an academic periodical. No, literally no idea. It's like, oh, I don't know. Pass. It's the Sunday Philosophy Club. Which British authors wrote the 2005 novel Saturday? Ian McEwan. Ian McEwan. Ian McEwan is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. I had the wrong... Newton College came to have 115, but Newton College came to have 215. Well, bad luck, Jesus. You took a while to get going, but never mind. It's only a game. <laughs> Which you did very well to win, Newnham. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank we should look forward to seeing you in the next stage of the competition. I hope you can join us next time for another quarter-final match. But until then, it's goodbye from Jesus College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Newnham College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.